I'm Heather Kirk Ballard with the LSU Ag Center, and today we're talking about fertilizing blueberries. You can see here we have some newly planted shrubs uh, that were placed in large containers, and you can actually get quite a bit of yield of blueberries in these containers. Now, fertilizing needs to occur in the springtime when we start to see this new leafing out. Now, these are deciduous bushes, they will drop their leaves. Um, and then in the springtime, we'll see a new flush of growth. Now these are a little light green, so this is the time to fertilize. And what we're gonna utilize is something that is low in nitrogen, um, a complete fertilizer. Here's um, a 1266, so this is, uh, this is a just fine. Uh, you could use an 888 or a 101010. Those are all acceptable. And we're gonna use about two ounces per container. Now, we wanna be sure that we don't throw the fertilizer directly on the shrub near the crown of the plant because it can cause some burning from the fertilizer. So what you wanna do is kind of spread it out around the drip line and be sure to water in when you're done. Now, we also want to fertilize again. Once these have produced their blueberries um, in the summertime and once they've been picked, they've put so much energy into producing fruit that we're gonna give it another little, um, two ounces of fertilizer at that time. Handling it the same way, making sure that we keep it away from the base of the plant, spreading out towards the drip line and watering it in very well once we're done. Now with larger plantings, those that have been in the containers for a while, you can go more. We can go more on the four to six ounces when we're fertilizing with that. But remember, a complete fertilizer, an 888, something that has low nitrogen. If you notice any yellowing, um, intervenal chlorosis can often be caused by a deficiency of iron. So you can also use an iron plus soil acidifier. Now, a tablespoon per pot is adequate. And we want to just bring to mind that blueberries actually prefer a very acid soil from a pH of 4.5 to 5.5. So this acidifier can help with that. Um, you can do soil testing in order to figure out your pH. And there are also formulated fertilizers specifically for acid loving plants. You can look for those types of fertilizer. But remember, we wanna fertilize it in the spring when we see the leafing out before the buds begin to come on. And then again, once the bushes have produced.